Bus at Singapore here. Today is a November 22nd Sunday. Are you guys doing、uh, Sunday? Every Sunday, I'm sharing the information about economic events,、uh, general meeting, and the earning call,、uh, ex dividend day,、uh, stock,、uh, conference information. So today is November 22nd.、Uh, let's check it out、uh, this week. So, first of all, overall schedule is Monday economic data, GDP CPI will be released, and、um, the extraordinary、uh, general meeting will be held for the Maple Tree Logistics. Tuesday, ex dividend day uh, comes, uh, Capital One Retail China Trust. Wednesday, earning call for Thai beverage IPO pricing for the Chai,、uh, Credit Bureau Singapore will come. Thursday, economic data for the industrial production will be released. Ex dividend day for s i n g t e l will come. Friday, economic data for the export price index will be released. Annual general meeting will be held in the Singapore、uh, press holding. Okay, let's look at the、uh, one by one.、Uh, GDP currently is a Q3 GDP year over year basis, forecast minus 5.4%. So, negative、uh, growth, basically the、uh, start from the March. Seems like August, July is a hit the bottom, is on the way to、uh, recover now. CPI consumer price index year over year basis is a start going down from the May or April, then the seventh straight、uh, month is a now is a negative range. It's, a, it's called like a deflation now. You can find out the more details in the consumer price index in the uh, website uh, of the Department of the Statistics. You know. I just bring like a couple of slides from my two days video because uh, I, at、uh, the other time, one of the topics was the Singapore deflation here. So, here is、uh, the Economist Intelligent Unit, EIU,、uh, released a worldwide cost of living in 2020. Then、um, Singapore used to be number one. Then the, this year is a, a went down to the number four. Why、uh, price in Singapore fell on the exodus of the foreign workers?、Uh, yeah.、Uh, then the demand has declined. The deflation has set in. Then the EIU focus for the like CPI is 0.2 percent minus for the 2020, and、um, but rebound 1.3 percent、uh, next year. Meanwhile, is the MS Monetary Authority of the Singapore is a minus 0.4% for 2020, and the next year is a 0.7% percent a positive back. Is a, a, I'm more a, a aligned with the MS survey numbers, so this is more realistic, I think. Extraordinary general meeting will be held by Maple Tree Logistics on the November 20th. So, as you guys know, is a Maple Tree Logistics acquired a, a lots of the property. I think.、Uh, In the China, Vietnam, and the Malaysia,、uh, they need to get approval from shareholders. Until the price is like that, 1.97. Tuesday is the ex dividend day, will come to the capital uh, retail uh, uh, China Trust. Is, uh, uh, this company recently announced that this is November 17th、uh, business times. Announced like a 300 million acquisition of the China、uh, Business Park and、uh, also I think more. Then the,、uh, when announced, the、uh, stock price going down because uh, uh, they have they also announced like a right issue is a 300 million.、Uh, they need to issue the new units is、uh, which means is the、uh, existing shareholders value is diluted. Is,、uh, so that's why it's kind of one point two four now. Wednesday,、uh, Thai beverage earning call. Sir, I think third quarter will come. I have a mini exposure on that. Is a、uh, separately. I, I, I'm planning to release a video why I need,、uh, whether I need to sell the stock before or after this earning call. So this one is a very important news for me. So kind of 0.725、uh, now. IPO pricing for the Credit Bureau Singapore、uh, will happen in the Wednesday. This is good news. Is a、uh, more IPO come to the Singapore market.、Uh, this guy is doing the credit under this information solution provider, especially the credit is、uh, now critical issue. So this kind of a service may be surging as well. So CIMB is a、uh, issue managers on the、uh, this IPO. 
Thursday, uh, man manufacturing the product index will be released. So this is the EDB, Economic Development Board of the Singapore website. Uh, they actually release every month, is uh, which um, a segment gonna increase, which segment gonna decrease. Um, then the last month is uh, uh, September is a, a very uh, surprising news, 24.2% up. Uh, which segment gonna contribute to the 24.2% is a uh, biomedical manufacturing here, 89.8% year big year growth. As, as we talk about it, this is a definitely the focus areas of the Singapore in the future. Then the one segment down is the transport air engineering. Uh, this is a, a, a well, we actually easily expect this one. 26 Singtel uh, X dividend gonna come is the first half of the day actually the pay 6.8 cents per share as schedule. But uh, very disappointed we is the second half is a 5.45 cents only. Why disappointed is uh, they keep paying the 10.7 uh, cents consistently. Then that they cut the half now. So that's why, uh, yeah, it's easy to find out why Singtel stock is really, you know, kind of the low level now. Then the 27 uh, import, like a uh, export price, actually export price index will be released. This is a, a site from the Department of Statistics, Singapore. Then the, this is a bold. Uh, blue uh, is uh, September and uh, this one, uh, lighter one is August. It uh, seems like uh, months of months is uh, uh, basically the export price is going down. Uh, let's see what happens. Singapore Press Holding uh, has an annual meeting. And um, I'm curious about why stock price is so surging back on Friday. This one about 20%. Yeah, let's find out after this week. That's it uh, for. Uh, today and I hope you are uh, ready for the coming week and um, thanks for the watching my video today and uh, have a good week ahead